This is a lot of money for seed stage deals, which is typically smaller. Why do you want to make seed such a priority? So seed has always been a priority for us. Um, we've been active at this stage for a long time, and some of our biggest wins uh, historically have been incubations and seeds. So I think companies like Workday and Palo Alto Networks and more recently Abnormal and Snorkel. And then this year, 70% uh, of our investments, new investments were seeds before we announced this fund. And so when we saw this level of opportunity, we also we wanted to make sure we had enough funding to really back entrepreneurs and to support them through their journey and make sure entrepreneurs also know they have different options at the seed for the type of partners they work with. Now, at the seed stage, you're talking about companies in their infancy. How early are you investing? I mean, is this ideas on a napkin stage with a couple of um, entrepreneurs that you believe in or, or is it beyond that? Uh, so there definitely is a whole range. We don't catch every single person like the day they left their job, right? Um, but, you know, Abnormal was a seed in 2018 when it was a slide deck and two co-founders. Uh, we backed another company recently in stealth on uh, First Capital that was a repeat founder we have history with. Similarly, uh, you know, no product yet, just an idea and an early team. And, and so the range of when we do seed really depends on when we encounter companies. We do like to get to know people as early as possible. And sometimes that's the right time for us to write the check. Obviously, Greylock is a multi-stage venture, venture capital firm. And I think founders might have the question here, you know, if you give me the seed funding, will follow on and reserves come out of that same bucket? Um, and what could this mean in terms of a longer term relationship with Greylock? What's the answer to that? So the, the first thing I'd start with is seeds for us are core investments, right? So many firms look at them as options to then follow on. We look at seeds as investments we're trying to make money on. We're building a relationship for the long term to begin with, right? So, so I, I'd start with that. Then I'd say it is a third of our fund. So it is a, um, a big piece of our investing. Uh, and, and uh, you know, there are many instances where we then follow on and invest even more because our conviction continues or even grows. But the point of us doing seed is not just to follow on, it's to make that investment. How big is each deal? I mean, would you say that seed is the new Series A? Um, I think, I think that well, let's see, the market data would tell us that round sizes overall have increased for the same level of progress. And I think that makes sense, right? Like, and, and the reason being um, the market has become a lot smarter at the attractiveness of early stage technology opportunities. Uh, and so, you know, great returns in tech venture capital over many years mean there's more capital than ever and people are savvier about software and internet companies. Uh, but I'd say there is, you know, I, I think kind of the nomenclature doesn't matter so much. We think of it as being the first institutional partner to, uh, to a set of founders. The world is changing quickly. I mean, we're still in the middle of a pandemic and who would have known that, you know, working from home was going to be a thing 18 months ago. What are the trends that you are most excited about right now that you're doubling down on at, at the seed stage? Yeah, so we invest across the technology spectrum, um, business, consumer. Uh, the one you just mentioned in terms of just the sea change of the pandemic in terms of how we do our work together is one I'm really excited about. But we've been we've been investing in, let's say, you know, just this, um, there's a shortage globally because of the pandemic, but even before of human connection and, uh, and intimacy and people look for it online. And, and so we invest in companies like Discord and Common Room um, and Remotion that help people connect more online. So that's one we'll continue to invest in. And then of course, we're investing across all of your sort of usual range of, uh, you know, SaaS, social data, AI, et cetera, and then spending more and more time in fintech and crypto in particular. Now, one of the you know, potential problems with seed stage is that at a certain point as the company develops, maybe they pivot, they change over time, they could potentially ultimately compete with another one of your core portfolio companies. How do you manage that? So it's a good question, but it is also something that doesn't only happen at the seed. And, and you know, funnily enough, Greylock uh, has been an investor in several companies that were like great companies post pivot, right? So like first investor in Discord and Nextdoor after they decided to be what they are today. Um, and so that, you know, I, I'd start with the premise of our, our philosophy is that the company should do what's best for the company. 
And uh, we, you know, our, our philosophy is to be fully behind companies and not to go invest in a bunch of competitors in a sector just because we like this sector. But if that were to happen, you know, we would we would just divide those interests within the firm um, and like make sure that there's no information flow and, and, and just address it in a reasonable way. I've talked with many of your partners over the years about investing in more women. And I'm curious how, you know, you look at seed as an opportunity to potentially, you know, spread the wealth a little bit across more women, entrepreneurs, people of color, people who historically haven't gotten a chance in Silicon Valley and Silicon Valley hasn't benefited from their ideas. Okay, so I'd say this is an issue that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, we are working on it. Um, two of the last three founders I backed are women. Uh, one is a seed stage founder. Uh, one of the founders I backed at the seed stage is uh, Hispanic. Uh, but um, but I, I would say, you know, one thing I want to make sure is clear, like we want to back great founders from diverse backgrounds across the spectrum. And like, we wouldn't like do it more in seed because seed isn't important because seed is important to us, right? It's just across the, the portfolio, this is a priority.